Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. How would you load multiple Excel files to a SQL Server table and archive them with the date time after loading? So what I have here, I have some files. Uh, they are called Asia, Europe and North America. Each file has uh, data on sheet one and uh, they have the same column. So it has ID and name. So there are a couple of records for Asia. And then uh, we have a couple of records for Europe and then uh, there are a couple of records for North America so what I'm trying to tell you here the sheets are the same uh, with the metadata information so in uh, ID and the name are the only columns and then we are also using the same sheet name on each of the file and uh, now let's go to SSMS and take a look what we have here I have uh, prepared uh, the DDL for the table so we have a table customer ID integer and sale person worker 100 so uh, I have created this table that's where we are going to load the data from those uh, Excel files uh, and if tomorrow there would be a new file uh, we don't have to worry making any changes as long as uh, they follow the same structure of the file it has uh, it should be having data on the sheet one and the columns should be ID and name so we can add hundreds of files and uh, this can be used to load old history files um, and, and and we don't have to make any change in the package to load multiple files let's go to the SSDT SQL Server data tools and create a new package so let me drop this one and here right click and say new SSIS package and we can name this one load excel files and let me get uh, the folder path so we can provide to the for each loop I'm going to create a variable uh, why I recommend variable always uh, because uh, we can provide the configuration value according to the environment let me give input folder name or input folder not name just as it's a structure or the path so keep it string and then we have value so this is our input folder the next part is we need for each loop so we can re read the files one by one let's go here and in go in the collections file each file uh, for each file a numerator that's fine with us and here we want to pass the value of that variable so we are going to set directory equal to the input folder variable okay hit okay now go to variable mappings and here we are going to save uh, the file name and extension in file name variable so on each of the iteration it is going to go and read the file name and and extension for us and save into file name variable let's go to collections here we do not want fully qualified path uh, we have a, a partial or folder path that uh, is in the input folder I just want to save a name and extension in the file name variable so I have select the name and extension here and then we have map to the file name variable hit ok so if we run it this for each loop now it is going to loop uh, uh, to the folder and give us one file at a time with the file name and extension now our next goal is uh, to load these files so let's go to data flow task here and inside the data flow task we will be reading the file from the excel so we'll be using excel source here let's make a connection browse to the folder select any of the file as uh, this will be overwritten the, the very first time we are making a connection so it can save the metadata information it would know okay I'm reading ID and name so uh, you can make connection to any file doesn't really matter so let's take a North America and uh, the very first row has some column name so fine and our uh, Excel version is 2007 hit ok now select uh, the sheet name so we have sheet 1 and we have columns ID and name next part is uh, let's do this data conversion 
as uh, Excel is going to read the name in uh, worker 255 and uh, that's um, by default kind of thing it is start uh, if there is a column with the work uh, with the string values it is going to read as a uh, n worker and in our destination now we have a value of the, or data type of that column is a, uh, a char instead of a n word char so excel is reading n word char and we are uh, converting that to the uh, word char so let's go here and now click here instead of unicode we want to dt string that's a uh, word char and then change this one to the 100 and here we can name anything uh, what we like we can call it d or data conversion dc and say name we are all set let's bring our destination here or lady b destination connect with this one and map the columns create a connection i have a connection already so it is my server name and then database name if you want to create a new one you can create wherever your table will be existing so hit okay and then uh, uh, you can do fast load and select uh, the table name we have customer good mappings and the uh, id is mapped to id as uh, it was uh, the same name here we have sale person but here we have a dc name so uh, if the names are same on the input and output side they will be mapped automatically uh, as columns if not you can do some manual work and map your input columns to the output columns uh, as you would know the uh, relationship between them so hit okay now what is happening here our excel is uh, uh, the connection is made to the north america file but on each of the iteration uh, it is going to uh, read different file name and uh, extension one thing we can do if we are run this package now it is going to r uh, write uh, the data to the sql server table three times from the same file because there are three files in the folder what we want to do we want to change the file name uh, every time the data flow runs so let's go to connection manager and go to properties and here we can go to the expressions hit uh, the button right next to it then go to properties and we say file excel file path here we are going to make a change and use the input folder and append or add the file name to it and the evaluate expression it looks good we do not have any file name saved in the file name variable as of now so we don't see that one here but uh, uh, when the package is going to run uh, this will be provided from the for each loop hit ok hit ok and the set uh, the delay validation to true because right now the there is no value uh, set for this uh, uh, connection manager and it's, it will throw error on the validation uh, when we will uh, run the package so we want to set this one to uh, delay validation to true so we do not want this to validate and in the uh, initial startup the of the package we want it will validate it after the for each loop container will be having uh, will have read the file name and extension also set the same property to the um, data flow task delay validation to the true so we do not want to validate the, uh, the excel connection manager or the data flow on the start of the package but uh, they will be validated at time of execution so now if we run this package uh, this will read m uh, each file uh, in one, one iteration and load that to the table let's take a look what we have in the table we don't have any data in the table let's run the package and we can see that it is running multiple times stop your package go to the SQL server table and run the query so it has uh, loaded uh, six records uh, two records from each of the file so that's fine this is working great now the next part is we need to move uh, these files uh, from source folder to the archive folder as well so let's go and take the archive uh, folder path and save in variable now create a new variable called archive path folder and here 
save that information now to uh, archive or move these files we need a complete path uh, that should be consisting of uh, archive folder plus uh, the file name plus uh, the date and time appended to it and uh, that's what we want to create so we want to create archive full path full path that should be consisting of uh, our archive path plus the file name so let's go to expressions archive folder we have it then uh, we want to add the file name but we do not want to add the extension of the file so let me go back here hit ok for now and I'm gonna provide any random name test.xlsx so when I evaluate expressions I can see what exactly is happening so go to archive full, full, uh, full path one more time and uh, click here now what we see we see that what is happening here so we need to replace the extension here because we we are we don't want to use the extension here dot x l s x with the no uh, with the nothing so we don't want to we just want to uh, replace the dot x l s with the uh, blank so I remove that part now the next part is we want to add a underscore to it so we add an underscore to it I have written expressions for the uh, to get the date and time I'm gonna show you I don't want to spend time of five minutes here write expressions so it is uh, getting the data or value from get date function uh, then I'm using substring and I'm casting it and the, that's the expression I will use I will paste this expression in the description as well so you can uh, take from there let's add this one so now we see what we have here uh, we have to put add so now we can see that it completed the entire string we have folder path where it need to be archive and the new name of the file that will be actual file name Asia or North America or whatever then the year and uh, date part will be added to it and then the time part will be added to it and the, the extension is dot xls so expression is ready one more thing we have to do we have to have uh, input uh, full path because right now we have an input folder and we have a file name but we do not have a complete path so we want to create that one as well that should be consisting of uh, input folder plus uh, the file name and these two variables we will be using the file system test so we can move the files from source to the destination or from input folder to the archive folder let's bring a um, file system task here and now on each of the iteration we want to load the file and then move it so here in the copy file we will be using a rename file that will be move our file as well as uh, uh, rename it while it will uh, move it so is source uh, path variable yes and what is that this is where we are going to provide input full path because it has file name and the folder structure so we will provide that variable then uh, is destination path is also a variable true and then what we provide here uh, archive full path so it has the folder path backslash file name then date part and then time part and dot xls so that's where we want to save the file and uh, you want to overwrite it if the file exists true that's probably not going to happen as it will be adding the time part to it every time we run the file so uh, but still uh, let's keep it uh, we want to overwrite it if the file is existing there hit ok now let's go back and take a look we do not have any file sitting in the archive folder and uh, let me go back to the table let's truncate this table truncate table so we don't have any records and uh, our each file has th two records uh, so let's run the package it should load six records uh, as well as move uh, those files to the archive folder okay so we can see that uh, on each iteration there data is loaded and then the file is uh, moved Clo uh, stop the package 
come back to the archive folder so files are moved and they, they are renamed as well so let's go to input folder and the files are not there so they were here we have loaded them and then we have moved them to the archive folder by adding date time part to them and data should be loaded in the table as well so let's run our select query on the table and we can see that the records are loaded from three files in this table so just one more point i would like to say uh, i have explained that in the start of the package uh, we want to just make sure all the files have the same structure and uh, that's how this package is going to work if you have different structures and uh, that is saved on the different sheets uh, this is this package is not going to work so to make this work you have to have data on sheet one for each of the file and then uh, the metadata or the column structure uh, on the excel files should be the same so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video